Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate. A couple from China have been detained by immigration officials for running an illegal dental surgery from their Nambur home. The authorities were alerted by an anonymous tip-off yesterday. Wasito Kote Wasawasa has more. It has the makings of a genuine dental surgery, all the equipment and medicine needed to run the business. This is the woman running the business, but she's been here on a residential visa for the last five years and no medical license. Her husband has a business permit and runs a furniture company in Lothala Beach. But the couple's real moneymaker is the dental surgery. Authorities raided their home yesterday. Even they were shocked by what they found. What you see in, a, in the dental department uh, at CWM uh, Hospital, uh, or even in any one of these private um, dental uh, uh, surgeries, uh, you'll find in that, uh, um, in that room, in their residential, uh, in, in their home, or in their private home. The health ministry and police have been notified and the couple will remain in detention for now. This discovery has confirmed suspicions that people are running businesses without proper approvals. Uh, we can confirm that uh, uh, there may be other, other surgeries such as this or other practices such as this that are uh, happening around the world. But, um, and we are not really aware of it. The two China nationals face deportation. The immigration department has commended the public for giving the tip-off. Vosita Kotimaswasa, FBC News. Continuous heavy rain in the Western Division yesterday caused fears of another flood. Some residents in Nandi weren't taking any chances. Christopher Chand reports. Litia Taylor lost everything in the March floods. This time, she didn't wait around. When the water started coming up, and we started taking out things, and uh, we started moving. By the time we still taking, the water started coming up to the front of the house. And then uh, by the time we start uh, stopping the courier to come and get us stuff, the water just keep coming up. Heavy rain caused some fears in Nawechikuma settlement, which was completely underwater during the last floods. Actually, the last flood, uh, we were still sleeping when the, we didn't know the water was still coming. So by the time they knock on the door, the water already came into the house. So that's how we can save anything. With the weather easing, some residents have returned home but Litia is still cautious. Christopher Chant, FBC News. The electronic voter registration process is critical, leading up to the 2014 elections. That was the message from Prime Minister Vorenge Mbanimarama as he launched the EVR awareness program today. Roland Karoy reports. <laughs> Kangaraba na nonda bunua ni mataka. To help Fiji grow. Because this is our home. For my child's future. For every Fijian's success. Because I count. This is just one of the three promotional videos you can expect on your screens soon as the awareness program on Fiji's first ever electronic voter registration awareness process starts. The electronic voter registration is an essential component to ensuring that the elections that we held, that we hold in 2014, as opposed to those that have been held previously, are held in a very transparent manner. It is devoid of fraud, and that all Fijians, including the international community, believe and know that the processes that led up to the election of a government was credible and done in a transparent manner. In welcoming this major step towards 2014, Prime Minister Vorenge Mbainimarama made his concerns known. Uh, I talked to the, uh, the Attorney General and his team, but uh, the only concern I have is registration overseas for all the Fijians in overseas uh, countries. Um, I think they'll find a way around that. Uh, they can either register in, um, in the embassies and in, in, uh, high commissions. The Prime Minister has encouraged all Fijians to come forward and register. These videos will educate all Fijians on the new EVR which begins next month and ends in late August. Roland Kuroi, FBC News. After the launch, FBC News spoke to the Prime Minister about recent criticism of his government. And just finally, sir, you, uh, would you like to say something to your critics? A lot of people have been criticizing the government, saying the military should be involved, Constitution, 1997. Was good. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't have time for critics. 
for my critics right now, except to say that we started this process, the military. We, we kept on saying that. We started this process, and we're going to see it to the end. Thank you very much. Uh, you can tell that to Chaudhry and, and Bedos and Garase and all those people, uh, including uh, the Women's Forum, has been talking about the military being re to be removed from the process. We started this, and we're going to see the end. And the land force commander of the military has also reaffirmed the views of Mbaini Marama. Colonel Mosese Tikoitonga says there's no one else who can be trusted to carry through the national cleanup campaign. Apisolome Doka reports. Political parties and non-government organizations want processes leading to the 2014 general elections to be independent of the military. But the RFMF is having none of it saying it will continue to support government until we are ready to go to the polls. We, in fact, have brought Fiji back from the brink of a collapse in 2007 with a lot of corruption in government systems and a lot of abuses of power in uh, different government departments. And, and uh, Fiji was going um, down a very um, irrit irritable path. United People's Party leader Mick Bados earlier claimed the military is not stepping back because it fears there may be repercussions from the events of 2006. If there is any fear in the military, it is the fear of giving Fiji back to corrupt political parties, to the same people that uh, uh, took Fiji to the brink of collapse in 2007. That is the biggest fear the military has, and that's why the military will not let itself or let the process that it has started in 2007 be hijacked by corrupt uh, and uh, uh, bad meaning, uh, political parties and, and uh, other NGOs. As different sectors of society prepare for constitutional consultations, the military says people should question the motives of politicians who are now resurfacing. Apisawa Medoka, FBC News.